What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? It's been a minute since I dropped something. Busy, busy. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about is the trucking industry oversaturated? I hear it's, it's a lot of chatter about it being oversaturated or not being oversaturated. Let me let a few more people climb in. What's up? Trav, Rome, Jordan. Yeah, y'all hit that like button for me. Hit, hit that. That's what's going to give me the more engagement to keep on doing these things as it, as the following grows. What's good? What's good? Is that tactical TV? Is that is that tactical as in, as in guns? Is that tactical as in guns? Just curious because you, know you know I like to shoot. I definitely like to shoot. What up, what up, Dana? I see you. I see you. I'm going to wait about a minute or two and let some folks get on in here. And we can get it going. So just just for my folks that's in here, we are going to talk on the topic. First, I'm going to talk on the topic of the industry being oversaturated. Um, and I, I might sound a little tired. I just got off the road um, traveling with the family and stuff. Just secured. Well, in about thirty days, I have another four family in the in the arsenal, a, a, another four family unit. What up, Jeff? What up, Jay Burley, Senior? Yeah. So y'all just got off the road. I just came back from my hometown, looking at a four family. We'll get an inspection done, and I'm ready to close on about thirty forty five days. It just depends on trying to negotiate with them to fix some things that I need to get fixed. But okay, we we, we got thirty people in here. Everybody hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe for me. Mm. Jump in these comments. Let me know, because this is a live q and I'm going to be talking for a minute, but we're going to get in the Q&A. We're going to look at some cities. We're going to do some relay city lookups. And if y'all want to do some DAT city lookups, we can do some DAT city lookups too, because I definitely want to give y'all some game, especially y'all that's not in the game, so y'all can kind of know what y'all getting yourself into. That's the whole point of doing the lives is to kind of talk about it, because – a lot of people falling out the game because they just don't have enough knowledge to stay in the game. And um, we're going to hit on a couple of pointers of why why I feel the – my answer is that – all right, so when somebody asks me – so so y'all going to get started. We got 32 people in here. Everybody hit that like button. Everybody hit that. So, ooh, they jumped up to 41 real quick. I, I like it. I like it. The more people in, the more – I, I get going. So a lot of people talk about this, whether the game is oversaturated or not. Um, my answer to that question is yes and no for a couple of reasons. You know, so I would say, yes, the game is oversaturated in the sense of everybody. I wouldn't say everybody. Let me, let me not say everybody, but the majority of the people trying to do the same thing. That's where I feel like the oversaturation is. The oversaturation is there. Like everybody's trying to, you know, do a, do, oh yeah, let me get a box truck and do Amazon. Let me, uh, where the box truck space is getting, is getting super crowded. Not that it's not a whole lot of different work that you can do, but understand that as more people come in, harder for rates, especially for those that want to do this from like a local standpoint and they're not trying to go over the road. Over the road rates are pretty decent. You know, but when you're talking trying to stay regional, local, you know, that space is getting very crowded. But there are a lot of different things that you can do within that space, not just Amazon. You know, you can, there are brokers that have, depending on what city you is, there are brokers that have local work. I don't know how consistent it is, but everybody know me. I missed the cold call. Guys to get those cold calls in. We can't be just sitting around waiting on Amazon to do everything for us. Now, I'm, I'm heavy on Amazon, but understand that them folks is unstable over there. So, you know, some weeks is good, some weeks is not, you know, but you can't, it's something that you can use with the blend. I want y'all to think about blending the work, not, not, not just having one source of places where you get it, get, get your work from. Let's, let's blend it. Let's talk to brokers. Let's talk to everybody. So, so that would be my perspective of, Yes, the game is oversaturated as far as everybody doing the same thing. Now, my perspective 
of the game being oversaturated from the no perspective is that a lot of people are not going to make it. And I'm not trying to say that to discourage anybody. This is not the channel you come to when you want to get that, when you want to hear everything that you want to hear, you know, all the good stuff. This, this is not that channel. So, you know, if you, if you want to come and be, and be fluffed up and not, get smacked around a little bit with the with the truth about the game then this this ain't this ain't the lie for you this ain't the channel for you you know I'm not for everybody I'm strictly going to tell y'all that it is going to get rough you know within it but the first reason why I say like the game from a no perspective is not oversaturated but y'all got to start doing a lot more research you know a lot of people trying to fight me on stuff that they have no idea what they're talking about and y'all understand I have years of experience doing this, you know, so y'all trying to follow people. A lot of y'all is following people that got three months experience, six months experience. Good luck on figuring out how to survive, you know, from somebody who's been in the game for three three months to six months. Not to say they, they can't teach you nothing, but you got to understand that, like, a business don't really make money into, like, some some businesses don't make money into the second or third year, so just keep that in mind. You know, keep keep that key thing in mind that it's okay to not make money to get some experience to figure out what it is, because numbers do lie when you ain't counting the right operational costs. Numbers do lie. Trust me, they do. Because you might not be counting everything. You might not be accounting for tolls. You might not be accounting enough money for breakdowns. So numbers do lie. So make sure y'all do y'all proper research. And make sure y'all got uh, the, the proper, you know, help, whoever it is. Make sure somebody who's been in the game for the, for some time, you know, that has took some losses, you know. So I'm not I'm not knocking anybody that's, that's spitting the game. I'm just saying, like, I dropped out of college because I went to school for business. But the teacher did not own a business. So how can the teacher, how can the teacher teach me about business if they don't own a business? He owned one piece of real estate. You can't teach me about business. Business is learned by experience. So y'all can sit here and watch this, you know, and get the game, but you're gonna have to jump, you're gonna have to jump in there. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to get your feet wet to figure it out. I can give you some starting points and all of that. We all can do pointers. What up, Demetrius B? What's up? What's up, dog? I see you. Thanks for the donation, my brother. You know, but yeah, 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 y'all, we got to we gotta do research and we got to think of our own way, our own way to do it. You can't, like my way, it works for my strengths. So you can take some of it, you know, spit out the rest. But but definitely, um, another thing I want to hit on is a, another part of the nose is that, you know, the cost, the cost of it, you know, the game is not oversaturated, but it because people are gonna fall off from strictly not having enough finances to get in, you know. And, and like I said, the number one thing that gets people out of this game is compliance. So if that's one of the reasons it's not gonna be oversaturated, simply because people are gonna be out because they're not using the ELDs. Because like I said, they they not doing the proper research and really understanding what all of the different components of this business takes. Like this business take. A whole lot of it, a whole lot of different things. You got compliance, you got dispatching, you got your accounting part of it. You got the actual driving part. You got truck maintenance. You get what I'm saying? So it's a lot of different moving parts. And if you one person, I advise you to try to try to get some try to get a little help. You can do it, but it's going to be hard making sure everything is good while you're trying to drive safe out there on that road. So that's my. That's my thing right there. Um, before I jump off into these questions, I don't, I know I, I could be long winded at times, but I definitely want to give y'all the, the the briefing and let y'all know that uh, research, research, research. Anything I say, go research it, fact check. You know, question me on it, challenge me on it. You know, challenge anybody on it to make sure they know what they're talking about. You know, the I three formula is guaranteed. <laughs> If you don't, don't go get no truck. If you don't have, don't work for it. It just don't make sense or you don't have a plan for work. I'm not saying like you're going to have a contract lined up, but you better have a couple of different ways of how you're going to pay that insurance because that insurance alone to get you out the game. 
it, it, it'll get you out the game and quick. Very, very quick. So let me let me jump off into some of these some of these questions. I only got an hour or a little bit more. Or maybe a little bit more than an hour. I could try. Shouts out, shouts out. Yeah, definitely, definitely, brother. You definitely gotta be careful who you listen to. My boy John in the building. Gio, thank you. Thank you for the donation, my brother. I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate y'all showing love, man. Y'all know it's, it's, I don't know if y'all know how hard it is to get this set up, moving tables around, trying to get in. I got five kids, so, you know, trying to keep them quiet. I mean, I definitely appreciate y'all understanding that, you know, that this definitely takes, um, well, what I put into it, you know, because I want to make sure y'all hearing me good. I want to make sure everything looks good and my, and my camera don't look as good because I got to use my webcam today. Long story, man, long story. I almost didn't come on, but I'm like, I got to, you know, I guaranteed it, so... Now let's jump into some of these questions. It's good, Jeff. I see y'all in there. It's a lot of a lot of people in here. Tank, tank logistics. Everyone trying to do Amazon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with 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 dealing with Amazon. You see, we're saying everybody trying to do Amazon. Now keep in mind, it's nothing wrong with everybody trying to do it. It's just everybody thinking that it's going to be that the Amazon is going to be the Messiah. You know. Just, just understand that it, it is, but you got to mix it up. Like I've been dealing with Amazon for, I've been dealing with Amazon for ever since I got in the game four years ago, I've been dealing, I started, you know, four, four people under, I was, it was stepped on. I wasn't direct with Amazon like I am now, but understand, man, these rates like this week, they sent me some stuff and I'm like, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. But last week was just way better. So it's just like week in, week out, even from a and and um also I want to clear one thing up. Somebody was asking me about contracts. Now I don't have I've never signed on a line. I'm saying this for the record. I've never signed on a line with Amazon. I don't have a contract like where it's like for a set amount of years. So just to just to set the record straight, I don't have a contract. Does everybody hey? So I know somebody was saying, like, how you everybody keep hitting me up, asking me how to get a contract. I'm not finna lead y'all astray. I don't have a contract. How I got in, how I got in is, like I said, through peak season, they 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 was looking for carriers. I was a I was a temporary carrier and I in November 2019, and they just kept me, kept me in. You get what I'm saying? Afterwards, based on performance. And everything I get now is based on performance. So just understand that that portion of it i want to clear it up because i keep hearing um people ask like i keep seeing some comments you know and they keep saying like all right how do i oh not even the comments it's not the it's my inbox it's people inboxing me asking me how to get a contract i don't have a contract they amazon i don't even know if they even do contracts anymore because they want to be able to cut you loose of your performances now you know as a, as a benefit to them they don't want to get people locked in for, for for too long so i just want to i just want to um clear it up y'all what up wrong let me scroll through and do some do some do some shout outs real quick before we do this. Okay, what up? What up, Vaughn S? What up, Skilly Eddie? Skill Eddie. What up, Conrad? What up, Jamie? All right, child, let's jump into some of these questions. Let me scroll up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, they, they steady rolling there. Um, well, okay, Vaughn say you just subscribed from Florida. Shouts out, shouts out to you, dog. Appreciate it. Everybody hit that like button for me, though. Definitely do that. Dallas. Okay, I got Dallas. She, she want to see Dallas on the relay. Highly insurance help. Um, all right, so <clears throat> highly insurance help in Phoenix, Arizona. Oscar, um, send me another question because I, I don't really know how to answer that for real. Um Maybe somebody else. I I put it on the screen so maybe somebody else out there that can um that can, can, can help me assist with that one. People are charging these days. OTR is the key. Yeah, I mean OTR. Is, I would like OTR. I, I I hate it. So I I keep taking the cheap Amazon freight, <laughs> as they call it. Like I'm I'm cool on over the road. I the uh, regional is at best. That's it. Break down the numbers. 
break down which numbers, um, Raheem. I, um, be a little more specific. Are you talking about operational costs? Are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really know exactly what you mean by break down the numbers. If you take the class, I got the whole. I give you my whole formula, you know. But I ain't giving giving that away. It took me too me too long. I lost too much money <laughs> on that formula to, to to just give it away. I, I mean, I drop a plenty of few few of free jewels, but when it comes to my formulas and my complete structure and how I do everything, you, you definitely got to take the class to get that insight. Please look up Richmond, Virginia. So we got Richmond in the house. Any any questions before we do lookups? I want to do questions just in case there's somebody in here that may need an answer to that same question. That's how you skill Eddie say. For all people coming in, there's a lot dropping out for various reasons. Also, some people like to talk about doing things and have all the dreams, but are too lazy to put into action. Hey, that's right, man. This is this is a this is this is a, a 12, 16 hour day type of thing, for real. Conrad City digging the channel. Okay, let's see, let's see. So every Jeff Moore say every every everyone ain't coachable, boss. How how are you gonna debate someone who has done it? Hey, hey Jeff, they do it all the time in my comments. I'm like, this is my channel. I'm trying to reach. I, if you got a problem, just go. If you don't like what I'm saying, how easy it is to just to just bounce. You know what I'm saying? Just just shake. You ain't gotta put a dislike for what. You know, all right, so here go here go a question right here. What up, what up, what up? Okay, now nah, she was just answering somebody. Yes, you can't run into somebody else's All right, shouts out, shouts out to Kiana out there um helping me. Goldman said how to donate. Um it's like a little money sign on the side of the, the chat. So you could just donate that way, brother. And I appreciate you even considering it, even if even if you don't find the thing. Hey, this is a nice little community. I see a lot of people helping, answering questions for me. Hey, this is this, this is good. This is good. Man, I'm so glad you are doing this topic. This is one thing I'm, I am thinking hard about before I even jump in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I'm definitely going to talk about the, the 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 good, the bad, and the ugly, bro. Like, I'm, I am i don't want to paint this as a, as, a, as a beautiful thing. This thing is rough. I almost quit five, four or five times. I, I want to sell the company. I want to get out of it, you know. But let me let me jump up. Um, I'm hello. I am trying to get into Amazon. Should I get a day cab or a full sleeper in in Florida? I mean, I would I would price check. But me, I don't like day cabs because well, as far as in Atlanta, the prices are too close to the same. So I feel like I'm not going. I don't, don't want to get caught up with a day cab and then end up having to do some sleeper work. So I'm gonna always roll with a sleeper just because I can use it for local or or long routes. So, I definitely highly suggest you. Um, I need some water, y'all. Hold on, hold, hold on, one second, one second. Yeah, much better, much better. All right, yeah. So yeah, so definitely, definitely get a sleeper just in case you got to You know, the work that you plan don't 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 work out. Don't ever put yourself um, put your back up against a wall. Don't do that. Besides Amazon, where to search for loads for box trucks? Cody, that's a that's a very good question. You got um DAT. I um I found very good loads on there. It just depends on if you're talking over the road or if you're talking local. But even even locally, I didn't found some good loads on DAT. Um truckstop.com. I done found some good loads on my virtual fleet, which is connected to Selectus. Selectus is the from my experience, now don't quote me on that. From my experience, Selectus is the best load board for box trucks because they strictly focus on box trucks, sprinter vans, and cargo vans. They, they don't post really semi work, essentially. So I'm gonna say select this. And just in case you don't, um, it's it's a weird way to spell it. So let me spell it down here in the um, in the chat for you. Select this, and it's by um, it's select this by by Omnitrack. So Cody Brown, if you can um, the, if you drop down to the chat, I just put the spelling in there. Oh, matter of fact, let me see if I can just highlight my own comment. That's exactly how you spell it right there. Spell it just like that. So let me let me go back up. Let me go back up.
Okay, so all right, so all right. So I think I found my thing. I need I'm definitely gonna need me a moderator soon to really, really help me with this. All right, Jordan T. He says, I'm wondering about how much can I, how much I can load without class eating in a twenty six box truck gross vehicle weight, going to look at a Hino tomorrow. So from my experience and from my understanding, this is this this box truck stuff is kind of like the Bible. Some people would tell you the interpretation is that you could that you can do ten thousand pounds. My my thing is go to the go go take your truck to the scale while there's no freight in there and fill up the tank and see what it weighs, right? Then if it's like so, like say for instance, if it's seventeen thousand pounds and your gross vehicle weight is twenty six thousand, you will then know at that moment that you can go up to twenty six thousand. So that would give you what another nine thousand pounds. So I've never rolled with anything over nine thousand. Now in this particular truck that I when I was driving, it was a uh, over the road. It was a um, it was an international. It was a twenty twelve international. So it weighed 17,000. So I could do about 99,000, 9,100. That's my interpretation of it. Now, some other people might tell you something different, but that's from my understanding. And I'm only just, no, I'm speaking from my understanding and from what I understand from reading it from the FMC, FMCSA, the gross vehicle weight. You know, you take that and you can get your payload can be in between that as long as when you go back to scale after you load it, you're not over 26,000 pounds. That's my understanding. If, some, if I'm wrong about that, somebody correct me, definitely. But like I said, I, I haven't never got a violation for that. So, man, what's a good money to start out with? Have have ten thousand in savings. Now, <clears throat> it's a couple guys on here that'll be like, you can start off with thirty five hundred. You know, with me, so like, say say if you rent a truck. So say your your insurance probably gonna be at, at the highest, maybe four thousand down, just depending. I'm just mine was two thousand when I started. Yours could potentially be four thousand. So just say. For instance, that is it's four thousand down on insurance. You can rent you a truck. It should be maybe I don't know. I get like four twenty five a week, ten cents a mile. So you figure I'm paying about seven hundred, seven fifty a week. So I say if you got a month's worth of that stacked up, that's what about that's about three grand plus four. That's seven bands right there, and you got you some fuel money. I definitely highly suggest you have a credit card too, or something just in case some repairs happen early. Well, if you rent the truck, you won't have to worry about repairs. But if you if you plan on doing like I I got rented for a few weeks and then once I got the hang of it, then I bought right after that. So I would suggest I I think t- ten bands could work, but you're just gonna have to make sure you 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 tight, you super tight. You do your research. You take you a class. You get you a mentor, a coach, Demetrius B. He um he definitely is really good um with the amazon relay amazon loads I, I run a lot of them but i'm not currently in the truck running it so you know the perspective could have changed it's been it's been a minute for me you know in in the in the actual you know actually running it space so so yeah i i don't even just say that i'm a good coach a lot of people are raving about his too though um and he's a brother from Atlanta too, though. So you know, I, it, it ain't no, this ain't no competition thing for me. You know, we just trying to get the information out there from my perspective. You know, that's, that's all I'm trying to do is get to the people. So, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Join the next class, Geo. Okay, for sure, for sure. Let me know. I'm gonna be. Um, uh, I only only got one more slot for this one. That one probably gonna be gone by tomorrow. Actually, actually, I think I got two slots left for this for this class. But, but yeah, I see you in the next class. Why you did this class? That's cool. <clears throat> Jay Bradley, what what will I learn in your training program? You will learn everything from how to start your business to how to structure your business and how to grow your business. And I'm gonna give you my formulas and everything that I that I use from the fuel card, from the fuel cards I use, from um, how I build my company credit to get my forty. I got like a forty one thousand dollar credit line with with fuel also I, so i got like two different fuel cards so I, i'm just going to teach you like my whole structure from from where i started at to now and i'm gonna give you all the resources of broker of broker shippers that i used um all of that pretty much so i'm i'm, I'm giving you everything that i that i pretty much know and if you've been watching my videos that should dictate whether you feel like the value i'm gonna be bringing is gonna be valuable or not that's that's gonna be completely subjective completely up to you and whether you feel like it, you know, it's worth your time. 
I'm not trying to sell you on it. You know, I said, like I said, man, I'm uh, I got a passive trucking company right now. I don't, you know, rather nobody show up or a couple of people show up is, you know, it's all love. Like Cody Brown, um, if we decide to cold call where to start, anywhere with a dock door, you driving by, you see somewhere with a dock door, call them. Or like I said, go on Google and, and look up distribution centers. Look up brokers near me. Look up freight forwarders near me. Cold call all of them. Ask them what they need. Do I need a truck before registering for my authority? Typically, the, the, all right, so the, the, the thing about the authority is this. The authority is going to, the, the, your authority goes active with insurance. In order to have insurance, you got to have a truck. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so it kind of go together. So if you got a rental company in mind, just have them to give you the VIN number of the truck that you potentially going to be renting so they can give you, you know, so you can, you know, so you, you can you put that, get that VIN number to your insurance company. Then on top of that, you know, you can go ahead and get your stuff done. So, yeah, so you you don't need to own a truck, but you need to definitely have a VIN number before. But so now you can you can go get your authority tonight, but it's not going gonna to take 21 days from the time that you try to fill out for your, well, no, no, no. If you go get your authority active tonight, they're going to start processing it, but it can't go active without the insurance. That's the that's the correct explanation for that. Let me know if you got another question. If I if if you don't get that, because I am I am I am a little exhausted, my dude. For real, it's definitely been a long day. So so, um, Tanny is saying you don't. So you don't. So you're right. You can register for it, but it can't go active without a, without without a truck, though. That's that's just the fact. I need somebody. I need some help on this one. Hey, hey, I, I want to say Taylor Evans. Good, good evening. Do you think that things will pick up if the stimulus checks release? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the freight is moving right now. Like right now, we have no problem getting loads. Not a day. Like, like I said, I can show you the board. It's, Amazon might be a little dry here and there, but like my my semis and are, are, are moving. I'm I'm staying loaded in the box truck too. Um, stimulus is just mean it's gonna be more freight. When people buy, it's gonna be an influx at that time, which is good. But yeah, I know that great reset is coming. That's a whole other conversation, though. But yeah, yeah, that that bubble about to pop. They put all that money in the economy. It's going to be some inf- some 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 inflation, some serious inflation finna come. So yeah, be ready. Put your money away to buy this property. That's finna be up. What up, chop? You always hear lawyer. Got that work, like you said. Far as the truck, do you know anything about? The F seven fifty box truck Cummins motor Allison transmission. Um, that's a that's a good combination. <laughs> Allison got the best transmission. You can't get a better transmission than that in a box truck, in my opinion, from my experience. <laughs> those last pretty long in Cummins. Any I like those because those are like Chevys. You know, anybody will work on them. You, it, it, a shop is not gonna turn you down if you bring in them a Cummins. And the F seven fifty is cool. I just don't like them. The F seven fifties essentially just because they didn't the ones that are rented they didn't have air brakes and I like I like trucks with air brakes because it's just to me it's a smoother ride you know the, the ones without air brakes just kind of I don't know I don't really like them for real but that's just my preference will I drive it to go pick up a load yes I would actually actually it's the first truck I ever I had I had a 2019 F seven fifty um rental from budget when when I first got started but yeah I, I definitely didn't like the way that it sit though I like that air ride seat it. It makes you feel like, you know, I'm short, so it make me feel real big, you know, so, so straight up. So what up, Ryu? Semi and box truck for San Antonio, please, trying to find out more and demand in my area. I, I got you on that. I got you. Got you, got you, got you. Let me, let me write that down to the side, too. Let me write that down. You say San Antonio. Actually, I'm just gonna go back to it when I um. It's, it's gonna be easy to find yours because it's lit up. It's gonna be easy to find you when it um when it's time. Nobody knows. Hey, Kobe, I appreciate you. Quick question: From your professional opinion, can I bring in about twenty G's per month with a twenty six foot box truck? Now, um, twenty six G's. What does that break down to? Let's see. Yeah. Um. Let's let, let's see eight. Let's see eight. 
Let me think about that. I mean, I think you can bring in bring in 30 G's though, because you figure if you ran 3,000 miles at a bird minimum of $2 a mile, that would be six grand a week. So in four weeks, that'll put you at at least 24. So if you just found some higher paying freight, potentially, or if you had some detention time or some more things that could bump that up, yeah, you yeah, you definitely can. Now, now just don't get caught up in those those big gross numbers, man, because a lot of, it, it, it be looking good, man, but when you break them numbers down, trust me, like on my Amazon loads, hey, the profitability ain't super great. It's good because I can, you know, because I got so much volume, but it's not. I'm not going to sell you that um, that these loads are paying anything great. Like I had, I used to do loads for this place out in Phoenix called Red Away. And I used to make like four to $500 a day. And I used to only be driving probably within like 50 miles. So to me, that's decent bread, you know, because think about it. I'm a, my fuel is off 60, 70 miles. It's not going to be a whole lot. So, you know, that's just that. But, but, yeah, you can if you go over the road make that kind of money or if you find a good local contract. I don't know anybody that's making that kind of money without being over the road. But, like I said, I don't know everybody. So, Mississippi market any good? Oh, this, I, uh, anything close to the water? Anything close to the water? I'm, I'm not trusting because it's, it's so far down you only got one way up. But it don't mean that it's not a good market for, for it's Amazon and box trucks and getting loads, but it might be good for something different. That's the thing, y'all. These markets might not be good for everything, but they might be good. Let's say like Texas is really is good for everything, but like frack sand, like say you got fracking. So you might have fracking where you at, I don't know. But that's a whole nother game. You see what I'm saying? Like it might be good for flatbed. You might have a, um, a bunch of companies out there that, that got wood or something coming out of there. So every market is going to have some work. It's just it might not be the work that you heard promoted. Like it might not be good for relay or it might not be good for just for that. But that don't mean it's not good for anything. That's why I said cold call. Like every market is unique and is in its own. So you can only take so much from me and what I'm saying. I'm basing mine off being in Phoenix and Atlanta market. And I'm from St. Louis. So I know that the, the Midwest is it's a no brainer. That's the best markets. So mine is only based off those three markets because those are the only markets I got experience in. So mine is, is really is really specific to where I'm at, you know. And I'm in Atlanta with the, the world's biggest airport, busiest airport. So it's, it's, it's definitely going to never be a shortage of freight here. What up, Dallas? I see I see you, Tavares. You got Dallas in the building. I'm just scrolling down, y'all. They do block work for semi. Yes, they do. I don't know if you're asking me or telling me or if you're telling somebody else, but, yeah, they do just in case. DMV in the building. That's what's up. What's up? What up, Ron? We scroll down if I grind on the boards. Uh, let's see. The class is starting eight o'clock on Saturday morning. It's gonna be a live class. After this, I'm only gonna do one live one though. Um everything else I'm gonna be selling after this class is gonna be the replay until like sixty days and I'll do another live one again. It's gonna be the replay. That's that's pretty much how it's gonna go. Cause I ain't gonna have time to be live like all like keep going live like every week. Um, as far as like for eight hours, that's a, that's a long time. What up, Ed? I see you here. Thanks for the donation, brother. Um, when you hire an employee and provide the rental truck, do you put them down on your insurance or do you require them to get their own insurance? The the employee? I don't I don't understand that, Ed. Um, if somebody's driving for you and they driving for you, you're going to have to put them on your insurance. I mean, like I told you, if you got if you got um if you got one truck, right, and you got that on your policy and then you get a rental truck, like say a truck you own and it's on your policy, or even if it's a rental, you only gotta put that one truck on your policy to to make it active. The other after that you can start taking the rental company insurance, you know. So that is, so I, I hope that answers your question somewhat. Okay, can you do STL? Definitely could do STL on that and Amazon. Let me add that STL. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do be able to do it on both. It just depends on how much time I got. That. Relay. STL a pretty, 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 pretty butter, pretty butter market. But then you got to specify, too, um, what kind of loads you're looking for. 
as far as are you talking about semi or box trucks? Do you have to put decals on a rental truck? Yes, sir. You get anything that you're running with your company. Now you can get away with it for longer, but don't don't take the shortcut. Just go get some magnets. And you so you don't got to put vinyl decals on there, but go get some magnets though. And um put them on there because that's gonna be the easiest thing to draw them a red flag. You driving through past the way station, they don't see no decals. They more than likely coming to get you because it's hot now. So many people are doing it that is it used to be I didn't have to do it on the I never got put over in two, three years. Now all of a sudden they definitely pulling you over because it's a lot of people getting in the game that's just you know, just just doing it. You know, they they not thinking compliance first. So yes, 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 yes. Toledo, Ohio, T- Toledo, anywhere in the Midwest, like is is it's gonna be good though. So we gonna we gonna add Toledo to the list. Toledo gonna be good though. Pretty much everywhere in Ohio. Kobe, I live in Metro Detroit area and was wondering if you know of any good school to get my CDL. Now, I don't know any any good school to get a CDL from out there in the D. Trying to get me a house out there to grow. <laughs> get me a grow house out there. And, and your training, do you teach how to hire drivers? Yes, I do. I definitely teach. I teach you where to hire your drivers what to look for and all the type of BS they going they definitely going to hit you with for sure <laughs> because it's that's the that's the toughest part of the game I ain't going to even lie to you if you're not driving it yourself that's going to be the toughest part of the game toughest so let's see we got any idea of how to get truck financing you would possibly refer yeah yeah I got a couple of people um did I give you those resources in the class? You know, um, I give you all my resources on who to buy trucks from, whether it's um, good, good or bad, because a lot of a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the commercial financing is different, and it's be like super rip off. So I want, I don't want to just send y'all somebody and give y'all a name without breaking it all the way down, and how they going how you could potentially be screwed on the back end. You got to figure out to make it work for you, because if you ain't got no business credit, you are gonna have to. Your financing ain't gonna be that good. It's kind of like a record deal, you know. Is is the first one is never the best. It's never the best. Do you think it's better to buy a truck, rent, or lease? It depends on what you're trying to do. They all are good options. I got I, I got trucks that I own. I got trucks that I rent, and I was looking into leasing, but I don't want to be locked into nothing long term because I don't even like trucking like that. Like I don't like the business enough to lock in. I can sell my business any day. Now, uh, it just depends on how I feel when I wake up. Sometimes I get tired of drivers, you know, and their attitudes and all that type of stuff. So it it, it it really just depends on I like to rent because I could just, if anything happened, if Amazon, if all my work, say, if everything just go to hell, I could just take the, take the trucks back and I'm and I'm free. I can take my money I got and everything and just go hand it off. I want to sell the company, boom, gone and free, you know. So, so I think renting is the best for me, but it depends on your rate, your operational cost, and what type of work you got. Of course, if you own a truck, it's going to be less expensive as far as you being able to to scale and make more money weekly. But you're gonna have to deal with the maintenance headache. So, so just think about that. Do you want to? I like rental trucks because I don't like to deal with headaches. I like my business to run smooth. I like to be able to put that on Ryder or Penske or whoever budget, whoever I'm renting from. You know. I don't. I don't really want to deal with it because my I just spent thirteen, fourteen thousand on a truck, a semi. I just bought it in November, and I'm already put fourteen thousand into it. Not every truck is like that, but just picture having picture if your first truck was like that, and you dump you dump fourteen thousand into it. You know what I'm saying? And luckily, it didn't happen. Well, my first truck was a turd. It was international, dumped a lot of money into that, but not as much money as I just dumped into that semi. But it, that mug got brand new clutch and everything, so we all good. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm, I'm scrolling on down. I'm going to stay on here a little bit longer because I'm trying to get more questions answered today, and I got a little more time. Detroit, what's all in the class? Just um, send me an email about that because, like I said, every, everybody keeps asking that same question. Um, the, It's, it's going to be everything from the beginning to where I'm at now. Everything I use is going to be in the class. All of the resources is going to be in there. Even stuff that I don't like, I, I'm going to be talking about dump trucks in all different types of ways. I'm going to be talking about um, how to get your minority certificate 
which a lot of people don't even have no clue what that is. Um, I'm going to be talking about that in the class too. How many hours can you drive each day? 11 hours. 11. Thanks, Dana, for covering that. See, see, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to have to really go reach up on the compliance wrong because, like, asking them single questions, you're going to have to become a master because I'm telling you, one of, one of my businesses, my business that I had for the longest got shut down because of compliance because I didn't take it serious. So trust me, I'm telling you from, I'm teaching y'all from literally going, getting a business shut down and luckily I had another one, you know, a spur business set up and ready to go when when it, when it did, and I ain't lose a beat, I ain't lose a dime. So, but yeah, the compliance, man. I'm telling you, I'm I'm telling y'all from from experience, you know, I, I have I have failed big, and still made it out. Delivering medical equipment, yes, great. That's a, that that's the best freight. Medical is the best freight. I used to deliver dialysis machines when I was out there in Phoenix. One machine on a big ass twenty six foot truck. But hey, they paid well. It's all good. You can break down what you cover on your training. Can you break down? Yeah, everybody asking us to break down. Just um, shoot, shoot me an email. Well, I didn't answer it a couple of times for real um, about it. But if you want the the whole breakdown, just shoot me an email and I'll send you everything I'm going to be covering. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. I don't know why my why my mic want to keep on going in and out. I don't know what's going on with it, but I hope y'all can hear me just just fine. Technical difficulties ain't finna stop me today. Not today. Can I buy a ten minute phone call with you? I don't have three forty nine for your for the hour on your website. It's actually two forty nine on my website. For a consultation, but you got to understand, okay, understand that in that hour, I could literally walk you through how to do your MC number. You know, th th that's like one-on-one -on -one time. They're like me, unlike the class, it's going to be other people in there. But you got to understand that you're talking about me giving you one-on-one. -on -one. And I, in 10 minutes, it's just, it's, I'm not going to be able to even teach you nothing in 10 minutes, you know, to be honest. I mean, so I, I get it. Govin, I, I get it. I appreciate the donation and everything, but I just, a, a 10 minute, you got to understand, like I got six businesses. I got real estate. I got five kids. Like it, it just has to be worth my time. I mean, you get what I'm saying? I mean, the time is worth more than money to me because you only, um, cause you can't get the time back. So let's see. Do you know of any resources for startup with poor credit? Please help. I don't know if you're saying to get a truck or just it's going to be tough with poor credit. But like I said, somebody will finance you, though. It's just you, it, you got the six grand down to I don't know where to get all the money. So I, I don't know how to start with no money. You might have to do like dispatching or something like that. That's the only way I know how to start with like no money. But it just depends on how much money you got to start with. Because like I said, I put six grand down on my truck, but it was a horrible deal. But it got me in the game. It got me some experience. Yeah, Rome, you got a whole lot of questions. I got to get to somebody else's questions, my brother, too, as well. Let me um try to get, try to touch on something everybody got. Kobe, I appreciate you taking the time to deliver this. Awesome. Okay. Not a question. We can hear you just fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So it, it's it's some it's some questions that I, um it's some people that I'm not seeing. Some stuff that I, okay, hold on. What up, Wolf Gang? Thanks for the donation. Um, Can I use a pickup truck? And enclosed trailer for Amazon Relay. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Um, not not that I know of. Not that I know of. Let me not say no. Because there's a lot of stuff going on that I'm not in touch with. I'm caught up in my own business and minding my own business, so I don't know. But from what from my knowledge with gang, no. How often do you have classes? Um, well, um, I decided I was gonna do them live every two weeks, but it make more sense because everybody was saying like they they not they don't they they work Saturdays. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna take what I do live and I'm gonna just sell the replay and I'm gonna break it down into sections so you can do it at your own pace. Because eight hours not every I'm I'm realizing everybody like please break it down because I don't got that I can't just sit there for eight hours. You know I just ain't got the, the schedule restraints. So I will offer it 
the live replay where you could just watch it all the way through, but I am going to break it down into sections for you coming up. Definitely going to break it down into sections for y'all. And, and, and if y'all give me, like, trust me, this is this is new for me. So if y'all got any suggestions of how I should do the class or any better way, I'm looking for suggestions. I'm very open to it. Like I said, it's something new for me. Something very new. So where are all the cities at real quick? Hold on, hold on. I want to make sure I touched everybody. Okay, so we got Louisville. Okay, so y'all ready to to start checking the relays? If y'all ready to look up some cities, let me know. Let me know. I need to. I need y'all to hit that like button. I need y'all to subscribe. Drop the comments. Keep them coming. This will keep the page growing. So we're gonna look at Louisville, Kentucky. Well. I, <clears throat> Hopefully I'm saying that right, and I don't mean to be out clearing my throat all in y'all and y'all ear, but I'm human, man. I'm not a robot. <laughs> I know the real one's gonna understand. Hey, sh- shoot me, shoot me emails, shoot me emails for um, any questions that y'all got. I'm gonna try to get to them, but I got people hitting me on IG, Facebook, all of that. So just, just understand, I can't get back to all of them. Well, I will eventually. I'm about to hire, hire an assistant to to go through all that. I didn't realize it was going to be so many. I just was just doing this for kind of like some fun and knowledge. I didn't realize it was going to become, you know, a thing where I got where the, where the inboxes and everything is flooded. So let me make sure I go back through here and see anything for New Orleans. Okay, so the best bet for anybody. Okay, I got I got San Antonio, STL, Toledo. I got Louisville. Kentucky or Louisville, however you're supposed to say it. Um, if y'all could redrop, because I'm, it's so many questions in here. If y'all could redrop those cities again, I'm gonna try to see if I can if I can snuff, snuff them out. Is Arizona a good market in general? It's a de- it's it's a, it's a decent market. Um, I did work out there, but uh, it was it was tough, man. Trust me, I left, so I'm just telling you. I went started in Atlanta, went to Phoenix, and I left because that market out there. You can make some money for, like, one person. I couldn't figure out how to scale out there, though. And I'm all about scale. Okay, I'm starting to see some. Okay, I see Baltimore, Virginia. Okay, I see this. What up, Mike Johnson? St. Louis in the building, hometown stand-up for sure. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm going to go ahead and start um, knocking, knocking some of these off real quick. Shouts out to everybody in here. We got 154 in the building. I mean, I should at least have 154 likes for sure. Everybody in here should be liking it. Why are you in here if you don't like it? Change the channel. All right, so let me know if y'all can see my screen real quick. Let me share it with y'all. Let's see. Share screen. Let's do it. So if y'all can see my screen, just let me know y'all can see it. Type something in for me for the one time thing. Roberts Courtney, thanks for the donation, man. Hey man, y'all showing mad love. Like, I might do two lives a week. Y'all, y'all definitely showing showing love. Like, I, I ain't realize so many people need the information though. But yeah, so so I so I got one yes. So can everybody see the screen? We can see it, we can see it. I see, I see Kanye's okay. All right, so. Let me do this real quick. So I'm gonna go and check on. We got I got San Antonio. I'm gonna I'm gonna do San Antonio first. <clears throat> let's see, let's see what we got here. I'm looking over to the side because I got my second screen right here. So just just to be completely transparent with y'all about what's going on. I don't know why I'd be tripping on certain cities. I wish I knew what the domicile code was. I could just find it that way. Anybody know what the domicile code is for, for San Antonio? There we go. There we go. It should, it should just pop up. There we go. There we go. So this is so this San Antonio. But do I send Antonio for the box or what? I guess I'll just look at them both for real quick. So let me show you what the box looking like first. It's got a bunch of rim rates look like. Man, I don't know what Amazon on, but some of these rates just ain't even they ain't even fur. 
Like, why would they even be trying to, like, they going to be running some people out of business that don't know what they're doing. Equipment, we, so, so y'all, we looking at 26 is first out here in San Antonio. So right now you could book these two shitty loads, if you'd like to, but 165 a mile out of San Antonio. These are horrible. Horrible, horrible. At the end of the world, because like I said, if you let them mugs sit, they definitely going to go up, but I wouldn't book them. So let's talk, and then, it, then these are 53 loads. So I don't know if y'all running teams or go a team load. That's shitty. 140 is just, that's just not good. They, I mean, they really killing on that right there. The cost the cost to even run it going to be at least a dollar if you own the truck. Like, I don't even understand. No, nah, it's going to be more than that because you got two people in the truck. So you got, yeah, he's a, um, let me cut this refresh off because we're gonna keep on doing that. All right, yeah. So, so let me just go ahead real quick and do. Let me go ahead and do strictly just well. I'm gonna see if they got any blocks. Cause blo- I mean, I like blocks because that's like guaranteed. So they don't got no blocks out here, but they do got blocks in Houston. So if somebody was gonna look at Houston. We knocking out Houston at the same time. They got blocks, but they just ain't they ain't paying that good. But if you wait, if you wait on them, the rate the rates will go up. Them ones might go up to like eighteen. So those are blocks. These are like the round trips, which is what I like to book. I like to book round trips. These round trips just ain't that's a dollar forty a mile. That's that's terrible. So we gonna head over to to St. Louis. We gonna do St. Louis. The Midwest should have something, something good. I got a, I got a cousin out there that I, that I coached into the game. She doing good out there in St. Louis. She doing good. I'm just gonna type in STL. It'd probably be easier for me to find it that way. STL. Bunch of freight. Let's see if they got some twenty six stuff there. Oh, let me turn. Make sure I turn this off. That trailer provided. <laughs> that almost got me on that one video. I'm on my game now, though. I ain't, I ain't gonna let it get me again. So it's it's there's nothing. It's nothing for the 26 standpoint out in St. Louis, but it was plenty of 53s out there. So let's look at round trips. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I ain't had round trips on. When I was looking at the 26, let me go back to, to the 26 and make sure I ain't had the round trips on. So yeah, it's still nothing on there. Still nothing. Let me see. Let me put all of it in there, though. So if I put all of it in there, go to 26. Still nothing. So so we're going to take that off, and then we're going to go. I don't know. How is trailer provided? So, yep. So even required. So any option that I pick, even though I thought I was fucking up, still same thing. So we're going to go to 53s. I don't know why they even got 28 even on there. That's kind of pointless. So right now, that's just trailer required. All right. So so this is the 53 work they got in St. Louis. You see, $1.80. I went running dollar $1.46, $1.97. But they ain't round trip, so I, I don't really think that's a good deal for real. You're going to have to, like, if something, look, y'all, rule of thumb, if it's not paying round trip, that money need to be about $3.50 one way, straight up, because you got to think that you got to you gotta go back. The truck got to go back, especially if you're not trying to, like, be on the road or nothing like that. So, so let's see if we get, if, if they got any blocks out here. So these these round trips, these these the ones you want to book when you when you you want to find round trips because then you ain't got to find your driver no backhaul. So this is a decent rate right here, dollar ninety one. Those are those are decent rates because these are all round trips. So that's saying you get you get a dollar ninety one on all miles. You that mean that's bringing your driver back. Your driver got work for two days. That's almost five bands for two days. So they ain't they ain't bad at all. You do two of them in a week. You know you pretty much good. And that's that's ten thousand for a team. So a picture a team could do three of these. 
and make 15 bands. So think about hiring team drivers and stuff too. All right, so we we, we clear on say St. Louis. I think we finna head over to Toledo and then Louisville. And then I'm gonna start um checking the ones off the um Toledo. We're gonna look at the box. They got nothing on the box. Not for round trips. Let's go ahead and check one ways, because most of them be one way. So on the 26, for the one ways, they have a bunch of shitty routes for you. Y'all see that? These routes you cannot and will not be able to survive on these. For some reason, it's, it's um when the comments get to, oh, them look straight, um, delete it. So all them old comments is straight gone. I don't, I don't know why they delete those. But yeah. So y'all see these 161s. Y'all, y'all will be out of business if y'all choose to run these loads. Trust me. So that's that's what knowing the operational costs. I give you a whole breakdown in the class. Like, like, or either if you get on a call with me, you gotta know your costs. That that's what like numbers do lie. Because somebody be like, somebody will try to justify this this route right here. This 431. So if you do this 431, if you do that you know, for 10 days straight, you can sell somebody that you made, you know, 4,300. You get what I'm saying in 10 days. So if you look at that over, if you ran that for 30 days, you're talking 12, 13,000. Man, that sounds like a lot of money until you realize that you only made a thousand. I'm just saying. So we're going so we to head from Toledo. Well, actually, we're going to go look at some 53s. Y'all see, I got trailer provided, trailer required. I got everything open. This is a very good load right here. It's like almost $3. That's good. But like I said, I don't really do too much care for one ways like that. I'm about to start doing some, but I like blocks and round trips. Because these bring the driver back. But look at these rates. These rates are horrible. But here goes some decent looking blocks, you know, but man, some of these are just uh, man, these these these, these rates kind of make my stomach hurt. I mean, it is a lot of work out here, but it's just you know, it, it just ain't paying that good. So it ain't the question of is it work. The question is, is it any work that's gonna be worth actually doing? That's gonna be the main question. It's gonna be the main question. So we got. I'm gonna let me take 53s off of this. It's no, it's, it's no work on here for in Louisville. Hold on, gotta put one way. There we go. There we go. My bad. Caught that. So there we go. So it is work on here for Kentucky. But look at it though. These routes are mega trash. They none of them even paying halfway decent. Yeah, this is. I wouldn't be kind. I wouldn't suggest nobody to start no, to start a box truck basing off these rates right here. Even though it's a whole bunch of routes, it's forty results. But so even in the cities where we finding it, it's still even in the cities where we find finding freight, it's still not good freight. So it just kind of defeat the, the um purpose. Somebody said autofocus, please. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you mean by that. All right, so I see. Hold on, let's see. Hey, Goldman, send me an email, bro, and we could talk about that. I, don't, I ain't trying. I'm kind of getting distracted by that by that conversation. Let's just talk talk about that through the email, my brother. All right, so I'm trying to go down to see some some um some more some other cities. I see New York, New York, Charlotte. So I'll look up Charlotte real quick. Oh, let me see something. I think I got a, a message. I ain't want to make sure I ain't pass up nobody. Nope, I didn't. All right, cool. 
All right, so we're going to look at Charlotte real quick. Why is it only got Charlotte one coming up, though? Charlotte. So that's just box truck. Let me let me look at 53s. I don't know. Yep, so so Charlotte so far didn't have any. So we got one ways in. They ain't had no 26 foot. I mean, no, um, let's see, 26. So it was no matches. Probably within, like, if I got to look about 300. Yeah. So the closest one is 291 miles. That's, that's far. That's super far out. But on the 53. And and please make sure y'all put the city plus what y'all trying to look at because it'll save me time if I if y'all only looking for box. I ain't gotta I ain't gotta look at both of them. So if y'all could put in the um the city plus whether you trying to do box or um or semi. Or if you want to do both, then that's cool. But I don't, I don't really want to waste time on on what we're not looking for as as a community out here. So we got, so we got Charlotte. Charlotte got some um, some decent ones, but these are like trailer required though. That's two thirty five. That's definitely good. But let's see what they got on. I mean, they got some good ones. I mean, if I'm going too fast, let me know too though, because I don't know. I mean, I am at the bottom of the chat, so I can't see. What which I which I putting it in and I'm I'm just trying to go up, but just let me know if I'm going too fast. So yeah, so I'm hoping whoever whoever requested this is just taking a clean look and cool. And I'm out. I gotta I gotta move on to the next one. I think the next one I seen at Albany, New York. And I'm getting hungry. Albany, New York, on the 53. Yeah, they, they, that's that's too cheap for New York because you're going to have to hit them toes. Look at these, these rates. is crazy. I mean, 14. Man. And, then, and this could be, keep in mind, these blocks could be anywhere from 700 to 1,000 miles. The only good thing about them is if they cancel it, they still pay you for it. Other than that, it's all bad, and 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 this ain't got nothing but blocks on here. It ain't even got no um no other freight unless I'm unless I got some the wrong setting on. Hold on, real quick. Let me let me just let me make sure I got more than. No, nah, they literally just got all blocks on here. I ain't really ever seen that, and I got everything checked. So yeah, that's crazy. No twenty sixes though. All right, so I'm gonna start with, yes, yeah, so see, yes, yeah, you said the turnpike eighteen dollars for a car, so you got to think, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to be doing no Amazon out there because them turnpikes, man. My drivers hate it going up there. They hated it with a passion. I hated it because I used to have all them damn toll fees. Let me see. Let me see. What's up, Birmingham at 53? Hold on, let me see. I don't want to forget nobody that was up here. Where can I get a decent automatic semi-truck and with price range? Uh, automatic semi-truck? Sincere. I'm, I got two right now up at um, Rider right now that I got deposits on. I'm waiting for a third one so they can give me this 25% off. But, yeah. You buy three, they give you twenty five percent off as long as they've been sitting, as long as they've been up there for a minute. So that's a little gem I drop for y'all. Buy in bulk. It's twenty five percent off. I'm getting like ten thousand. They forty because forty thousand is about the price. So forty thousand about the price of an automatic. You know, thirty five. It just depends on you know the mileage and the specs of it. But all mines, man. The cheapest I, I found one for thirty seven. But it's like I said, it's gonna be up there. Hopefully, I answered that for you, my brother. And Ryder and Penske definitely got them. I mean, I mean that's who I buy mines from all the time. Let's see, Maine and New Hampshire. I ain't never seen those. I'm actually gonna be interested. I actually want to do Maine. I ain't never. First time. First time somebody asked about Maine Lux. I say Maine, New York. Hold on. Hold on, what so damn. That, you gotta give me the city though. 
I can't just look up the state. Luck, so just send me the city. Hold on, y'all, real quick. I got uh, somebody hit me up right now. I got to get my driver Uber back from Ryder. Give me one second, y'all. All right. Pardon the interruption, but says got to get the business done. All right, so we got Denver in the building next. I see New Jersey. Hold on, let me try um try New Jersey. New Jersey going to be close to New York. Well, New Jersey and New York so close pretty much. You could just you could just reference the New York I just did. So we going to go Denver real quick. That's one I ain't, I ain't really I don't remember um doing that one. So this Denver from the fifty three perspective, because you didn't you didn't put um which one you needed. Please, please put which one y'all want me to look up for y'all. Cause I don't know how fast to go through. I don't know if you're seeing this. These wonderful trash routes that they got. Yep, they do got 26. There's plenty of them. Hold on, what's today? Tuesday. So, yeah, so these these for Thursday. But, man, these are horrible. You run these, you're going to be out of business soon. You're going to be out of business quickly if you run these routes. I'm telling you. I used to run bullshit before I knew better. I used to, I used to run away before I knew better. So, all right, moving right along. I got Richmond and I got El Paso. I ain't never seen El Paso either. El Paso is, whoo, that's a, that's a rough one right there. Boy, it's hard to get up out of there. It's hard to get out of them certain them little, them, them, them certain spots. So that was Richmond. Richmond, I like Richmond. Richmond actually, I think, I believe Richmond is like one of the highest, um, the highest paying cities as far as Amazon freight. I heard good things about the, the people up there in uh, Richmond. I wonder why that shit don't. All right, so this, this thing's a little weird, though. Richmond. There it go right there. So it's nothing on the 26 side. On the 53 side, here you go. Quick glance. And this video is going to be available if I'm going too fast for you to slow it down. After, so that's, okay, you did put a box. Okay, my bad. I ain't, I ain't see the box right there. All right, so I'm moving right along to, I'm moving right along to El Paso real quick. Paso with the 53 or what? Paso boat. All right. So it's the 53. It ain't really much on the board. Let me make sure everything is checked. Everything checked is not much out of El Paso, which I don't really expect it to be much. It's like Laredo and all of those spots. It, it just very, very, very hard places to get out of. Let's go look at the box. I'm expecting this much of the same on the box. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't even expect it to be none. The closest place is 500, 558 miles. It's Aurora, Colorado. So El Paso is exactly what I thought it would be. Vegas for the box. All right, so I'm gonna be on here for about another give or take five minutes. Cause I gotta um I gotta finish working. Why, why do it be? It's like, I 
be making it so hard to just type some of these things in. I don't know why they let me look up Vegas. There you go. Yeah, this thing definitely worked. All right, so here go the box right here. Let me let me look at the fifty threes. So we got it got hella decent fifty three rates though. These fifty three rates are, are more on the on the higher side. Well, nah, I spoke too soon. There go some low ones down here. Yep. Yeah, here go some low ones. Let me see. I'm gonna knock out a few more. I see I see a couple of Baltimore's I already did Richmond. So you just you just gonna have to scroll back on the um on the live. I already did Richmond. I'm gonna do Birmingham, Baltimore, and KC. And I already did Trenton too. Yeah, so a lot of these I already did. And then I also got other videos where I did this. So I'm, a lot of these I have already done. And make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Hit that, hit that. That's what keeping me going. All of that engagement. I got, I got Baltimore. I got like three. I got like three um, Baltimore requests, so I'm gonna have to do that just because multiple people are looking for that. So I gotta skip over a couple of other ones. Sacrifice a few for the many. All right, so Baltimore in a box. Let's see what it looks like. Closest thing is Pittsburgh. Let me make sure I got everything checked. I got everything checked, so that's what it is. Let's look within. So Pittsburgh is the, is the market up there. They got it. Pittsburgh got plenty of box work. So that's the closest place. So you might have to trap out of 200 miles away from out that Baltimore area. Shouts out to Queen Sheba. Thank you for the donation too, Queen. Chop. Back. I had to get off earlier. I don't know if you answered my question. Yeah, I definitely did chop um, F750. It's good. I just don't like it because it don't. I don't think it come with air brakes. But if it got air brakes, it either way, either way, it's good. Whether it got air brakes or not, but I just that's just my preference. Let me check out. So, okay, so I said Baltimore, and let me check out Birmingham. Birmingham is no matches for the box. And um, let me check out the 53 on it. 53, it's, 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 it's skeet on the 53 too. That's why they rates are so low too. Cause they ain't, people gonna be taking it. Cause that's, I mean, because of that location. I see a couple of different Virginia beaches. All right, I'm gonna look at Virginia Beach. Let me see, I got Virginia Beach. I'm trying to see if it's one. It got a lot of. Do having a um, do having your own semi trailer pay more than using the one they provide? My domicile would be Nashville or Chattanooga. I live in Knoxville. Yeah, um, yeah, it do. It give you more options because you ain't got to just take. Once you take their freight, you can go do something else. But yeah, and um, in Nashville, Chattanooga is is pl it's plenty of work out there. It's always gonna be plenty of work if you got your own trailer too, though. I mean, that's always the best way to go. Always. All right, so I'm gonna do. There's so many of these ones. I'm trying to figure out. 
Okay, I see multiples on Birmingham, but I already did Birmingham though. Um, and it's, it's the semi, so I'm already did that. So that one done. So you might have to go back if you didn't see it. All right, there is the hell of Birmingham. Shouts out to Birmingham, y'all in here thick. So I'm gonna do Detroit. That's a good one. I'm gonna do Detroit, and then I'm trying to find two. I'm Detroit and DC and Baltimore is pretty much gonna be the same type of area. So if you, all you gotta do is just um check on that. You said DC, yeah, DC is gonna be the same as Baltimore. So I'm trying to get somewhere like some different areas. Oh yeah, it's definitely these rates definitely gonna run people out of um out of business if they rent. So I'm gonna do Orlando because that's something like way off of when I done Orlando. I'm gonna do Orlando and Detroit, and those would be the last two. Orlando, this is all right. So let me separate the. So this is this is strictly box right here. It's Florida, so I am not surprised. So the closest thing is like that all the way in Nashville. So I'm gonna take this back to 100 miles, and then we are gonna look at semi. So they got some semi work out there for sure. It's paying just like Florida. Florida um lows be paying. Shitty. If you don't live in Florida, don't go there with no with no freight unless they paying you a million dollars to go in because you're gonna be coming out empty. You're probably gonna use your own gas coming out. Trust me, you do not want to test my theory. You'll see a bunch of freight going to Florida too. And then coming out of there though. So yeah, so this is Detroit on the 53 side. You got 296, a mile 307. These 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 decent rates out there. Like these are these are very decent rates. These are encouraging rates. Like I would I would go grab a box truck. I mean, I would go grab a semi definitely if I if I'm in the Detroit area. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, that, but that's, that's the Midwest, though. The, the Midwest don't have those type of problems. Now, that on the box side, you just going to have to wait till that day for Amazon to bring it up. Cause they, they, now, it's plenty of work. Now, I like the fact that it's working that area. you just going to have to do a posted truck. So what y'all got to do is do a posted truck when y'all get in and then put what y'all want to make and then they'll send it to you. And a lot of times you will realize that you will get you will get much better results that way. But I right, y'all, this I've been on here for an hour and eighteen minutes. Uh, it's eighteen minutes longer than what I be planning to do it for. Um, I appreciate everybody that's supporting me. I appreciate everybody out in the community that's helping other people answer questions. But again, is I'm sorry if I ain't, if I wasn't able to get to you, but I can't. See, I'll be on here all night, you know, because more people gonna keep coming in. So I gotta I gotta cut it off. And if you real, you will understand that, you know. I got to spend my time wisely, you know, so I appreciate y'all coming in. I mean, I appreciate y'all consistently supporting. Shouts out to everybody that's going to be in the class. I'll see y'all Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to put out any more videos this week because I'm focused on making sure I'm getting, giving y'all the best information in the class this weekend. I do got a few slots left. If y'all want to uh, book the class, one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations, are definitely like some people look at it as expensive, but if I can walk you through in an hour how to set up some stuff one on one and telling you details, coaching, I mean, you got to understand that mentorship is it is what it is. I mean, you paying for expertise. It's almost the equivalent to the electrician coming in your house and he takes five minutes to fix something that costs you five hundred dollars. You're not paying him for his time. You paying him for his expertise. So that's what this is. If if I'm an expert at something or, you know, I got information and it and it work, you gotta you gotta pay for that the same way, you know. But yet I'm dropping free gems if you just look at my free stuff. So take the free stuff and roll. You know, I don't I ain't trying to sell y'all on anything. 
it, you know, if y'all get it, the people that mess with it, they gonna mess with it. The people that don't, they won't, you know. So just like, I mean, I hope I, I mean, I know I'm bringing value for 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 a fact, you know. And I didn't have this available when I when I lost my money, you know, coming in the game. So, like I said, book a book a consultation with me. Visit the website. Uh, coaching I only do like three of them a day, so it's only twelve slots a week for one on one coaching, and it's only twenty five slots for the class. So I, you know, so just get in if you can, if y'all can. Some certain questions, if y'all got like one question, I'd answer it. If y'all inbox me, um, shoot me an email. But it's hard for me to answer when people ask me like six questions. So you gonna have to book. You got that many questions. That's you gonna have, definitely have to book a coaching call, or either just come to the class, and I'm gonna be able to answer a lot of questions in there. All right, y'all. Peace. Y'all have a good night. Um, y'all can send me if it's some videos y'all want me to make something known. Um, drop it. Shoot me an email like, hey, touch on this topic briefly or whatever. And I'll definitely see what I can do, you know, within my schedule to do it. But I'm definitely looking for feedback, whether it be good or bad. You know, just just bring it to me. I, I got tough skin. I can take it. But peace, y'all. Thank y'all for holding on and, and hearing the rest of it. You know, a lot of people check out. They want that info. But but I right, y'all um truck talk Tuesdays I'll be here again eight o'clock next week I might I might come in on Friday but but I'm just not sure y'all just gotta see what the week look like peace.